Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having the most amazing day or night wherever you are. So for today's video, I'm going to do a huge Louis Vuitton haul. And these items are a mixture of his and hers items. Aline and I purchased these in Paris, London and Melbourne. I'm just going to go straight into unboxing them and then talking about why we purchased them, which country we got it from and the price. Before I get into this video, as you guys can tell, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a tea or a coffee or a wine, a snack, because it's probably going to be a long one. I've got so many items to get through and I'm just so excited to share with you what I got because I've got a mixture of bags, SLGs, First off, what's on my lips? This is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. It is in the color Prom Night and wow, it is a really bright neon pink. It's so bright and it's just really fresh and I just really love the way that it looks. So yeah, and it stays on. It stays on, it's very pretty, I absolutely love it. I love lipstick. And then the bag that I used yesterday, I shared this one with you guys on my Snapchat not long ago. I've been using it nearly every single day since I got it and I am in love with this bag. So this one here is the Perenza Schuller PS11 Wok. I love the grills at the front and the two-tone hardware. It looks like the PS11 mini but are like a mini mini version. You can wear it cross body or on one shoulder. You can detach the strap and uh, wear it as a little clutch. I really love it that this is like quite understated and I love this version because I'll show you why. There's two variations of this bag. This one here is the one with the credit card slot at the front, which is so adorable. It's got um, the card slots at the back as well. I got it from Selfridges when they had a Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. They had 10% off cosmetics. I went nuts and 20% off everything else besides some Gucci stuff. This one was 20% off. This was originally 935 Australian dollars and it went down to $748. Such a great buy. If you're thinking of getting the PS11, try the wok. It's really, really good. Sorry, let's get straight into unboxing these items in no random order. So this is the first item. It comes in this magnetic box. There's no ribbon on it. Because seriously, the guy that sold me this, he must be—he must have been new to the company. He was trying to find a box to fit this item. And he took a good 40 minutes. And I'm like, oh, please don't worry. Just, you know, quickly, please. Just chuck in your bag and just, just let me leave. <laughs> this is the item here. It comes gorgeously wrapped in tissue paper. Then, can you guys guess what it is? It comes in this gorgeous little dust bag. Ta-da! So what I have here is a Louis Vuitton toiletry 19. So beautiful and fresh. And then on the end here you got the Vichetta tab. This one is made in France and this one I purchased this in London and the price I believe it was £235 plus I had to claim the VAT at the airport so it works out I think much cheaper than what I would have paid in Australia. It's got the gorgeous washable lining on the inside, cream colour and then it's got a little tag, coated fabric, cowhide leather trim. So one of my friends has this one and she loves hers and she uses hers as a clutch and she rocks it like crazy. And when I went to Paris, the whole of France are sold out and this one was the very last one. He just got the one piece and I was like, yes, please, I need to have it. I'm gonna use it as a little clutch and I'm also going to use it to put my toiletries when I'm putting it in one of my bigger bags. So that's that one. So all right, the next bag, we've got gorgeous box and it's a bit of a thicker box. So it comes in this gorgeous drawstring dust bag. So what I've got here is a Louis Vuitton Damier graphite belt and I got this one for Alin. He was deciding on whether to choose a silver buckle but he went and chose the matte black option. So it's like a all black, so black. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's so discreet and subtle. It looks like it's black, but it's like got like a bit of a mixture of the dark gray as well. We got this one from Crown Casino in Melbourne. Next item that we got. Ta-da! So we've got two. So we've got two of these boxes. Can you guys guess what it is? Then we've got this really big heavy box. This item here I purchased for Lynn for his 35th birthday and we saw this one in Harrods London and as soon as he saw it he tried it on he was like wow I absolutely love it and I go awesome easy like it's his uh, big 35th birthday present so let's just get straight into opening it. Oh no what did I do? All right this box is pretty heavy we lugged this one from London all the way around because from Australia we flew to London stayed there for two days went all the way around Europe and then we had to fly fly back to London and from London we stayed an extra two three days and then we flew back to Melbourne. Can you guys guess what it is? Ta-da! 
it's got a little flap here and there's two little drawers and this is the box i'll take out the box and i'll show you what it is first gorgeous louis vuitton navy box so you've opened it up like this and ta-da i got him a louis vuitton smart watch take this out and there's one of the faces one of the many faces i don't know if you can see it but it's just a stunning watch. As soon as he saw it and tried it on, he fell in love with it straight away. And I said, you know what? Um, this will be, you know, your 35th birthday present because yeah, I can see him like how much he loved the watch. So it's a smart watch. You can change the face of the watch. If you press it twice, it shows you the weather. You got, I don't know if you can see, but uh, you connect this via your phone. So there's a Louis Vuitton app on your phone. So you can check the weather. It's got agenda, it's got your alarm. It's got the Louis Vuitton city guide, your contacts, countdown, fit workout, flashlight, LV link, play store. It's a really nice watch. There are so many like options with this watch. That's the back of the watch. Just go through them quickly. So the first one that he got so we've got here Louis Vuitton Damier Graphite. He actually haven't, hasn't used this one yet, but he got this one to match his belt. So these watch straps alone cost about 250 Australian dollars. We've got another one here. So it comes in this dust bag. And actually this is the original watch strap that Lynn purchased uh, with the watch because this Damier Ebin one was sold out everywhere. It was sold out everywhere in London. So we usually got this watch in London and then the additional watch straps we got from Champs Elysees in Paris. So he got the uh, Louis Vuitton monogram eclipse. It's got a little clip at the back here and you just take it off like so and you just click it on like that which is awesome. And then what else is in this little box? So you get a little booklet at the back. It's got a little you get a little cleaning cloth with Louis Vuitton on it. And then this is a uh, Louis Vuitton, that's what it's called. It's a tambour digital watch. So it comes out and then you get two booklets. Oh, so when you open this Louis Vuitton tambour connected, you get a little card. Get the little tambour with a little microchip. So I don't know, what is this for? I have no idea. That is pretty cool instructions and you get two little drawstring dust bags so this this is the charging dock so you get two little sleeves and this is the charging dock and you can disconnect it that comes with the cord it's also one of their little charges this watch here was about three thousand five hundred dollars including the watch and then he bought an extra two it's quite a similar price if you were to buy it in london or paris okay so the next item that i've got is in this big box oh we've got two items in here i'll open the small one first can you guys guess what it is? It's a little SLG. Ta-da! And I have got a Louis Vuitton Mahina coin purse. It's like a little mini wallet. As soon as I saw this, oh, I just fell in love. So the color is Magnolia. It's in the gorgeous monogram perforated leather. It's got a press stud closure in silver, so I don't have to really worry about tarnishing. Because nowadays, like the Louis Vuitton, just the hardware just tarnishes so quickly. I, I think the quality has gone down. Open this up, and this one is says Louis Vuitton Paris is made in France right there and I love it when Louis Vuitton is made in France it's got a gorgeous little silver zipper it's got a little back pocket which is gorgeous and then you've got a little zippered compartment where you can put your coins this one says all cowhide leather it's the cutest little compact small wallet full leather oh it smells divine I love the smell of it. Next item I got. Oh, I missed out on the Christmas wrap. Ta -da! Can you guys guess what it is? I'll take this out. And revealing to you my brand spanking new Speedy 30. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. So this one here is a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the Damien Bean canvas. This is so gorgeous. It's like chocolate, guys. If you guys have followed me for quite some time now on my YouTube, you know that my very first ever designer bag was a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the monogram canvas. I babied it and I wore it for like three years in a row, like every single day for three years. I loved that bag and it still looked in amazing condition. And then I gave it to my mum. Oh, I just loved and adored that bag so much. I 
thought to myself, because that one went to Louis Vuitton heaven, why don't I get myself another Speedy, but this time get like an all-rounded, all-weather bag and in Damien Ebin this time. Damien Ebin looks so beautiful and classy and just elegant and just goes with everything. So this one I got in Melbourne at the Collins Street Boutique. <sighs> I just love the zipper on the inside. This one was $1,350. It's so worth it. It's got the gorgeous red interior on the inside. Oh, it smells so good. Like brand new Louis Vuitton just smells a freaking amazing. So it looks like the red carpet. It's like Christmas. I've got a small organizer in red that will go perfectly with this. So I cannot wait to use it. And yeah, I'll definitely have to stuff it to get rid of the creases. Okay, so the next thing that I got is in this massive bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. We bought this one in Paris and Alin got this one on his birthday. And he bought it as a birthday gift for himself. And when I put this one in my chicken luggage, the corners sort of ripped a little. And this is really heavy. I don't know why they gave such a huge box for this item. Oh my gosh. Comes in this gorgeous huge dust bag. Ta-da! So this item is a Louis Vuitton, I can't remember the name of it, I have to look on the receipt, but it's a Louis Vuitton, it's like a laptop bag, work bag, the compact model. And this one is in the Damier Graphite. Berlin had to get this one at the Louis Vuitton George V store, the Chantelissi store sold out. He's been using this one as a work bag, laptop bag, and he's been absolutely loving it because he just recently got a MacBook Pro 13 inch with that touch bar. He loves how compact that laptop is. That laptop fits perfectly in here. Smart. So this this one matches his watch and also matches his belt. You've got a Louis Vuitton dust bag and inside you get the black leather strap. On the inside it says Louis Vuitton made in Spain. Inside you get two pockets which is a flap so you've got like the date code and everything underneath. On this side is where you can put an iPad or a smaller laptop which also lifts up. In the middle you get a little dust bag, keys inside. At first he was planning on getting the Damien bin, but it stood out too much. He paid about 1925 Australian dollars after conversion. So you can wear it like this. Or you can wear it on your shoulder like this. Oh, hang on. On your shoulder like that. And that that's how the bag looks. It's just really compact. So yeah, this is his Louis Vuitton Damier Graphite laptop bag, work bag. Okay, last but not least, I'm just gonna open it first. Can you guys guess what it is? All right, revealing to you. Ta-da! Ah, ta-da! Wow, this is so gorgeous. So what I have here, guys, is a Louis Vuitton GM Neverfull in Damier Azure. And that's not the last bit. It has, oh my freaking God, I'm so excited. It has the Rose Ballerine interior. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? I'm just obsessed with this. Okay, you get the gorgeous oh, pochette, the little pouch. Oh, I'm so happy with this purchase, guys. Oh. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. So the reason why I wanted to purchase this bag was because this one would be a great summer bag. It would also be a great work bag, also like a beach bag or even like a baby bag. And I wanted the rose ballerine interior. I've been on the wait list and I've been searching. Like I know that I think in the US this one is still being made, but in Australia it's been discontinued. We bought this one at the Shams Elysi store and this was the only piece that they got in. And um, it had like a little tag in here. That said uh, the date that it came in which was on his birthday like he asked me what else did you guys want to buy and I go would you have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM Demi Azor with the rose ballerine interior and he goes hang on a sec this might be a lucky day and I was jumping with joy I was like oh my gosh are you kidding me if I ever get just one Demi Azor bag this bag would have to be it with the gorgeous pink lining because it's just really pretty this one is made in France it's got the gorgeous virgin white vachetta which is so stunning so beautiful can't wait to put a little bit of a tan on it it's got an inner pocket with the zipper I think it's got like the little skew tags 
There you go. So that's the code of it. I just cannot believe I was able to get my hands on this. And the price I paid for this worked out to be about 1,500 Australian dollars. Fantastic because these ones cost 1,770 Australian dollars in store and you cannot get this particular combo anymore in Australia. You know, when I first saw Demi Azur, I was never a fan of it. There's something about it, you just warm up to it. Later so that's a wrap for my huge Louis Vuitton haul video for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love Louis Vuitton or if you love this type of haul videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I would love to know which is your favorite item or items from this haul video for today. I definitely have three favorite items that I can't choose from which is definitely the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 19. I love that size. It's so cute. I also love the Mahina coin purse in that color Magnolia which is so stunning like a nice nude blushy pink and also I just I'm pinching myself that I got one of my dream bags which is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM in the Damier Azul with the Rose Ballerine interior. That is stunning. I just cannot believe that I was able to get that in Paris as well and the bag is made in France. So yeah that's all for this video. I can't think of anything else to say. If I've left anything out I'll fill in the description bar with prices or with uh, what I got and everything. So yeah I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Thank you all so much for watching. Please take care until next time. I will see you again very soon. Bye!